Your small part in my grand plan is now over. Good fight, Kelly. Now, take the Grail. You earned it. I am certain that you have the guts and wisdom to use it properly, for the good of all. No, Kellyan. Lorenzo was a madman, but he was right about one thing. This cup must be destroyed. Humanity must find its own path instead of relying on the mystic powers of an ancient artifact. Destroyed? That means leaving the fate of the world to the likes of King Philip and the Inquisition. We must use the Grail to rebuild, to fix what is wrong. And how does that make us any different from your Grand Master? I don't know what God's plan is, but I doubt he wanted us slaves to whomever holds the Grail. The Grail is just a means to an end. If you destroy it, you will deny us the opportunity to use it forever. Men are haunted by the vastness of eternity. What could we achieve if we lived forever? How many lives could be saved? How many dreams fulfilled? The Grail is merely a means to an end. The progress and prosperity of mankind. In the year 1312, Pope Clement V officially disbanded the Order of the Knights Templar. Two years later, Jacques de Molay, the last Grand Master, was burnt alive at the stake in Paris. Since then, the Order has disappeared completely. The Knights Templar have become a legend. Though there are still many, who claim to be their descendants. As we pursue our daily routine, an unknown guardian watches over us with the wisdom lent by immortality and the compassion of faith.